So praise the Lord that once again we can worship Him and uh, express our thanksgiving towards Him for His uh, faithfulness to us. Kag, uh, salamat kita liwat sa Iya na natagaan niyo mong kita sa oportunidad na makapamalandong liwat sa Iya Pulo. Although this afternoon will be a day or a time na uh, mga hayop dito sa inyong pangamuyok, no? Because actually there was some sort of miscommunication, no? Uh, I did not expect to be the one to preach uh, this afternoon. And uh, actually, si Yvonne uh, is sick. And uh, sa Wednesday ko pa ni... Uh, I, I, I thought someone else would be preaching this afternoon because we were planning to uh, isolate ourselves for a number of days. But don't worry, ah, kuya, wala. Man, kuya, ah, I am uh, safe. <laughs> uh, but anyway, anyway, si Ibon, she's getting better by tomorrow, siguro, or Tuesday, she will be out of uh, isolation. No? So, so, praise the Lord. Car, that means, subong uh, hapon, we will have to apply what the Bible teaches about preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Ang muli ang mga out of season uh, times, no? So what I intend to do is simply to give you a brief meditation or devotional. And uh, I let's just pray that the Holy Spirit will be the one to teach us and to enlighten us and to prevent me from rambling, no? <laughs> in times like this, I do not know how to begin and how to end. But I trust in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, this afternoon, what the Lord has impressed on my heart is for us to meditate on the topic of suffering. Which I believe is a topic na tanan kita siguro maka-relate yet, no? And uh, clearly, this is a very important uh, topic because many of us all of us struggle with suffering. No? Ang pag-antos, bakit hindi sa mga kabuhit, kagbisan mga kristuhanon kita, basta magtanggog ini sa atong kabuhit, nag-sala-sala kita. No? And sometimes, instead of approaching suffering with the right attitude, we respond wrongly to the trials uh, brought about by suffering. So our text for this afternoon Diri makinuan sa Romans chapter 8, verse 18, which is actually a verse that I treasure and cherish very much. Kay, just like all of you, bisan ako, nag-aagi man ako, sang ako niya, kaugalingon nga, nga trials, kag uh, challenges. And when those painful times come, amugid ni ang verse nga gina-impress sa ginoo, sa akon, which gives me consolation and comfort. So let me read this verse to you. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not <coughs> worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Ang una-una, yan ni Pablo, amoy ni na wala niya ginakonsiderar ang iya pag-antos na itupong mo sa himaya nga magapaak nga ginalaong naton. However great our sufferings, the glory which will replace our sufferings is so much greater so that he can afford to endure and bear whatever severe sufferings he might be called upon to endure. In his life. So, Romans 8 18. In connection to this verse, may tatlo ng ako pagutang na gusto i share sa inyo. Okay, number one, sufferings are a reality in this life. Number two, sufferings are temporary. And finally, our sufferings are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed in or to us. So just to make sure that these points will sink in, tapos malang ni i-memorize. Ano ka niliwat? Number one, suffering are a reality in this life. Number two, 
sufferings are temporary, and finally, sufferings are not worthy to be compared to the glory which will be revealed in or to us. So, ganit ito sa first na point. Sufferings are a reality. Anong bot sa lingkong sila? Ini isa ka kamatura na hindi ko na niki ng lalo i-demonstrate or to prove. You only have to refer to your own personal experience in order to prove that sufferings are really reality. Kagamoy ini ang importante nga punto. And no one is exempt. Ina gusto ko ginahataga ang stress. Because many Christians think Kagang masubo, there is so much teaching na ang, ang dalaga sa teaching na inidong amoy ni Bala, na basta faithful ka lang sa ginoo, basta tutong ka lang na Christian, you will be exempt from suffering. But is that what the Bible teaches? Kasi mismo na gambar, in this world, you will have, oh, if you remember, tribulation, which is just a synonym for suffering. Kag kung lantawon mo ang eksperyensya sa mga katawahan sa Diyos, Old Testament mana or New Testament mana, whether we are talking about the Apostle John or the Apostle Peter or the Apostle Paul or even the lives of the early Christians, tanan nag-aagi kitya sa ginatawag na pag-anto sa suffering. No one is exempt. So, I am really wondering, kag ako, I, I, would, I would just like to bear my heart, no? I have been very vocal about my opposition to the prosperity teaching. Ano lang ina tawag bala nga health and wealth gospel. Ano lang teaching nga basta may pagtuo ka lang sigurado na na nang tanan mo nga financial worries madula na mamangranon ka gid kag hindi ka na gid maka hindi ka na gid pag masakit. Tapos may implication na which is very dangerous. Ang implication sila sa mga muna klase ng teaching na kung magmasakit ka galit, kag kung medyo may financial troubles ka, kung sila mo hindi ka galit, tutong ng Christian. E kung tutong ka ng Christian, nga, ah, nag, nga nag-agi ka sa muna. Nga muna experience. And that is unfair. And in fact, that is, that is, uh, well, that is not biblical. It does not follow that just because you are a faithful Christian, you are exempt from suffering whether that suffering be physical suffering or financial suffering. Okay. Medyo kinanglan, I, uh, as you well know, I'm not really prepared to expound on this, no? Pero kung ano, magdito ang stock up na, ladies nga, hindi sa upo ko, iaboy ko sa, sa inyo. It is true, kadamo na sa mga verses sa Bible, which talks about the goodness of God and the blessings of God. And some of the ways that God blesses His people is this. Sometimes He blesses them in terms of good health. And sometimes He blesses them in terms of financial prosperity. Wala kong manayagi na question. But what I am saying, that is not, that is not the whole of God's dealings with people. Because ang ginuho, misteryoso, so niya, iya yung mga pamaagid. There are times that for For, the, for, for reasons that we cannot understand, there are times when He allows even His faithful children to suffer. Whether that suffering is in terms of financial suffering, or what is this, uh, physical suffering. Inatani kung basahon bas, mo lang ang bilog na Bible, kag hindi lang dapat pili sa mga versikulo na gusto mo, that should have, be, that should have become uh, very clear. Okay. <coughs> Kabay pa nga, hindi lang niya maglamig. Mas delikado kung hindi ko preparado. <laughs> Doon mas lamig kang gina... Ang uh, ako gina... Wali anyway. Okay. I said a while ago that I am opposed to the health and wealth gospel in yung mga sermons bala sa pati mga financial breakthrough. Kagamo na. Again, do not misunderstand me. Ha? I am not saying that you should not trust God to take care of you and to provide for all your needs and to bless you. Dapati, dapati, ito yan, nga God is a God who blesses. Pero, at the same time, dapati ko, nga wala si Taya Karapatan na higtan ang Diyos. As I said, sometimes in His wisdom, may pamahagi siya na contrary sa itong expectations, nga para yan sa ginoon, that's, this is the best way 
this is uh, this is the best circumstance for you, even though painful nisha. Ito what I ha I want to accomplish great good through this. I mean, okay, kung ano lang, mga examples na sinulod sa mind ko, ah. for example, sa case ni Beethoven, kung wala na siya nagbungol, he could not have given us one of the greatest masterpieces of music, which is the symphony number number nine, no? or is it number five? Hindi ko nga dung doon lang, da 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 Okay, uh, sino pag -in? Si John Milton, ginmundo, ginmundo ko siya. Do you not know that he wrote the greatest epic poem in uh, in English literature, in history? Amuna siya ang Paradise Lost. He wrote that when he was blind. Kung wala siya na pula, we could probably never have had that kind of uh, of masterpiece in English literature. So, uh, you know, when he allows circumstances like that, the party could be on my purpose siya. And the point is that do not think, uh, do not think that you are exempt. We are not exempt in this world. We will have tribulation. Pero ang number one yung example. Sino number one yung example? In whose pattern we should follow? Si Jesus. Di ba lang suffer siya? If the Master Himself is not exempt from suffering, how then we think that we are exempt? Pero balik tayo sa mga I I I hope someday nga mapusa kung hindi mo duro kay parahan kung hindi. As I said, ginaubos ko ginang mga teaching on mga financial breakthrough nila. Why? Why? Is it because I do not believe that God blesses? No? I believe that God blesses. But because we are giving false assurance to people, na ginapasigurado, ginasaw sila, kimuha lang nito ng formula na ini. Sunta lang nito ng formula na ini. Kagsigurado, gina yan, umamong garagong ka, madula, ginatanaan mo nga kautangan. When you say something like that, Number one, that means you have not read the book of Ecclesiastes. Has anyone read the book of Ecclesiastes? You have probably, and you have forgotten the book of Ecclesiastes. Ah, nine. Hindi ba lang, balda, the race is not to the swift. Riches are not to the, the race is not to the swift, nor success to the strong, nor wealth to the wise. But time and chance happen to us all. And do you not remember what the Apostle James said? I cannot remember the exact location of the verse. Pero di naman, di bala naghambal siya. You do not know what tomorrow will bring. Kung magkato ka siya sa siyudad, anong dapat mo yambal? If the Lord wills, we will do this and we will do that. Wala sa kasiguraduhan. The only assurance we have is that God loves us and He will do the best for us. Amo lang na, but we do not get to define what that best is. Because God is wise. And that is, His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Sinuwa, being maminsan ang kamatayon ni Jesus Christ that was the greatest gali and the most successful thing that ever happened in the universe. Kung worldly wisdom lang yung gamiton mo, you would think that it is a a great failure, di ba? Failure na yan kung iho lang yung worldly thinking ang gamiton mo. Pero it was the most successful thing in the world. Because through the death of Christ, we were saved from our sins. And, and the Lord knows us. Ilala niya. <coughs> Ilala niya ka itong karakter. Kabalo siya nga kung bubuan. <laughs> Kabalo siya nga kung bubuan niya kita kwarta nga hindi man natin, wala kita wisdom maghandol, we will forget him. In a verse mo na sa Bible, I think, Proverbs chapter 30, Lord, nag-pray si, I cannot remember, si Agur or si Asaf, no? basta may prayer na sa Proverbs chapter 30. Ano nga balda? Give me neither poverty nor riches. Because, if I become too poor, I might steal. But if I become too rich, I might forget you. So, the bad thing is, the bad thing is, the important thing is, trust in the Lord. But then, leave it in His hands. And then, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So, the bad thing is, He will take care of us. Just trust Him, even in the midst of 
of suffering. No? Okay. Are we clear of that? Are, are klaro kita dara na we are not exempt? Yes. Nga ang faithfulness nato, nga hindi na nato, hindi nato pag ganito ng akong faithfulness sa ginoo as a sort of bribery bla. Do bribe bla, ginoo ka faithful sa ako, nga ginagaw mo yung mga tabun niya sa ako. <coughs> Never do that. Para sa ako niya, that's a form of bribery. No amount of righteousness on our, on our part can ever obligate God to bless us. If ever God blesses us, ultimately it is because He's gracious. If you talk about what we deserve from the Lord, given the, mu- the multitude of our sins, kung, dis- kung desert ang ginais ko mayahan, dapat what we deserve is for us to go to hell right now. And do not think that that is, a, well, that is an exaggeration or a very harsh statement. You just have to read the Bible. We are all sinners. What does the Bible say? The wages of sin is death. That is what we deserve. So, in fact, if you want to be coldly rational about it, if, if suffering ever touches your life, the right question is not, the right question is not, why did this happen to me? That is not the right question to ask. If ever when ever suffering touches our lives, the right question to ask is, why only this, not more? Ibot ka mo eh. Why ka mo nakibot sa ng balgo? Because when you say, when you, when you, when you react in this way, nga amo lang ningin pag-antos ko, nga hindi pa sobra pa din, then you realize the truth that actually what you deserve from God is not grace. You don't deserve anything from God. What you deserve really, kung, kung ano mong ginang pag-antos na ginaagyan mo subong, nga nabatunan mo, you deserve worse than that. And, and remember, actually, kung Christian ka, inang pag-antos nina is the blessing of God in disguise. Isang pag-ino na dapat na to dumdumon. Because, why, why do I say that? Romans 8, 28, di ba? All things work together for good. Oh, you, you are suffering. Your ego was wounded because nahuitan ka. You were humiliated by someone. Galit lang mo ka sa ginoo. Lord, why did you, why did you allow this to happen to me? I'm your child. I should be honored and lifted up. Instead, you put me down and humiliated me. The Lord says, ang isa baksi mo sa ginoo, Actually, blessing na. Blessing na siya. Because through that, you learn how to be humble. And when you learn how to be humble, in my sight, you are lifted up. Amen. Ah, lang pa lang binuo. And then, God will allow you. you. You are suffering because someone is hurting you. And just me, you are innocent. Pero, pero, what is this? People are mocking you. Are, are insulting you, but dinasakitan ka nila. And you say, Lord, why are you allowing this to happen to me? Tapos, the Lord in His wisdom will say, I am giving you an opportunity to become, what is this? Actually, that is for your glory. Because I am giving you an opportunity to learn how to love your enemies and to forgive. Grabe, no? How can you how can you learn to forgive when in the first place you do not have someone who will hurt you? And that is one of the great achievements of, of the Christian. When a Christian learns to forgive, gapalakpak ng mga anghel when they see how, you know, how you just do not know the mind of God. Ano pa gin? Hindi pa, sa first point lang daw ko. Doon malawag mo tayo. Oh. Tapos na tada. Tapos na you, you, you get you get the message. O, ano na yung number two? Now, the Bible says, the Bible says, uh, morning may last for the night. Morning, uh, kasubot na, this. But joy comes in the morning. Morning, ain't M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G might last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. 
in end of RNI and D. The thing to remember is no matter how severe and painful your sufferings are, they are only for a little while. They will end. When God has accomplished His will in your life through those sufferings, and there will be no more reason for those sufferings, <coughs> will remove those sufferings. The thing to remember as a Christian is that nothing happens in your life outside of God's good purposes for you. If He allows something painful to happen in your life, always trust that He has a purpose. Ano man be ang kulo sa Romans 8.28 if you will forget that? Ano man yung Romans 8.28? God causes all things to work together for good to those who love Him and to those who are called according to His purpose. Pero ang point today, no once that purpose has been achieved, it will remove this suffering. Okay? Kapto ko ba na ni sa, I think it's in second Peter, no? Or first Peter. Okay. First Peter, if you have your Bibles with you. Masama ko lang kadali, no? Kapto ko sa first Peter chapter 1, gariti pa sa verse 6. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. Liwaton ko ah. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. There are a few words here which I would like to stress or emphasize. Number one, the words, in a little while. Pero ba si maghambal ka? Dikada na ni nga ako niya pag-antos. Paano ka maghambal nga in a little while? Why do you say in a little while? Because compared to, compared to eternity, no matter how long your sufferings have been, they are only a drop in the ocean of eternity. That is, that is why it is correct to describe them as being only for a little while. Think of eternity. Isa na doon na nakalawig sa pagkantos mo. They are very, very short compared to eternity. Pero ah, it again, Hambas diri sa First uh, Peter chapter one verse six. Ining mga trials which we are suffering, they are not only for a little while. Hambal nata if necessary. What does that mean? If necessary. Are, are you following me? Yes. Are you thinking? Yes. This means the Lord will not allow that suffering in your life. Unless it were necessary. Put it in one by four, post na. That's why trust in the Lord with all your heart. With all your heart. Never think na ang suffering mo is arbitrary or senseless or purposeless. There is a purpose. Wala mo lang nakitaan. Ginuulan ang nakapalo. But there is. Those words, if necessary, point to that or show that. The sufferings which the Lord allows in the lives of His children are there only because they are necessary. If they are not necessary, the Lord will not allow them. So be comforted by that. Be strengthened by that. Do not be defeated by your sufferings. They are only temporary. When the time of necessity is no more, when they are no longer necessary, God and finally, last point. Ano to galing last point? Suffering are not worthy to be compared. You know, each one of us may kanya-kanyang suffering. Diba? The problem is, because it happens you, to you, you think your suffering is so big. Hey, mo mo. But you have forgotten that other people are also suffering and their suffering sometimes are worse than your suffering. Galing mo lang mo na-realisar kay mas lapit sa imo ang imo yung ako galingon na pagantos. Example. Example. Kung wala ka kaagay COVID, kagang nagyang mo toothache, para sa imo, inang kagamay na toothache, mas worse kaysa sa tao nga nag-aantos COVID. 
Sige po tayo po eh. Kay imo mo. Ikaw ang gaagi. Ato yung nagaag, ato yung iba ng mga tao na nagaagtos ng masupra pa kaysa sa sa imo, hindi mo <laughs> hindi mo ma-appreciar kung ano pagbugat sa nila pagagtos kay mas concerned kaya sa imo ko galingon. What I am trying to say, what I am trying to say is this. Ang kapugapon sa aton mga sufferings, relative. Inam lang, gariklamo ka, gaantos ka, gariklamo, gariklamo, nasubuan ka gid, kaya tungod wala ka pambayad sa sineko. Wala ka pambayad sa, sa basiwa. Pero kung ikumpara mo ka buhi mo sa mga taga-Afrika, nga ato, ato lang kaya sa mga kubo na is guys star, wala sila yung kubi, wala sila sa medicine, pero kamalipayong sa ilang mga kapataan, gampang ang pagsutalan. They're very happy! Pero ikaw na pangasubok ka because you think na bugat din ang imo, wala ka na ipahagod, do not do not get me wrong. I am not saying na hindi bugat ang imo, ginaagyan. Wala ko kabalo. Pero ang buot ko lang siya, si Limon, is ah, Because we are very self-centered, we are exaggerating the weight of our problems. Kung madumduman lang natin na there are other people who are suffering worse than we are, tapos sila yung malipayon, dapat ganit we should be ashamed of ourselves. May nadumduman ko nga, nga saying, it goes this way. Ito lang madumduman sa ngayon sakto ha. Uh, I had the blues na subuan ko because I had no shoes when, up, when until upon the street I met a person without shoes. Kuha niyo kung toko? Subuan siya. Wala siya sa batos. Then na-realize niya kahapaw gali sa niya pag reklamo. Tungod may nasugata siya na tao nga nagayuhong-yuhong kagbalipayon. Wala tiil! Now, ano ang puntos, anong relasyon si Neil sa Romans 8-18? Suffering is relative. Bugat lang ni siya if you only think about yourself. But if you compare it to the glory ng manugabot, maguhin-guhinan ang iya ka mo natin. Inam lang, example, Example, Brad, nag-antos kita tugo sa pag-preparar para sa bando, para sa ako niya, at nag-antos ko. Imagine you will, you will have to, to read your law books six hours a day. I, isa ka tulog ka, ba, basta grabe, grabe dito yung uh, nga portion. That, that was, that was not really a pleasant time of my life na hindi lang sa preparasyon, but during the time na nagkuha ako sa bar, yung, yung typhoid fever ko, the first Sunday, nga nagkuha, hindi, apat na kasagdays during my time, ha? The first Sunday, yung typhoid ako, nagkuha ako sa exam, tas taas ang hinanat ko, and though hindi ko malakat, though hindi, gasapat ko yan sa mga pamangkot, kahibig ko, ang pamangkot nga nagasulod sa mind ko, sa tanan sa mga tiyon nga pwede ka magmasakit, nga aso mong pa! <laughs> But later on, by God's grace, I became a lawyer. I have now been a lawyer for 30 years. And when I look back, what I can say is, I am ready to do it all over again. And to suffer all over again in view of what is ahead great in the future. That's the best analogy I can give based on my own experience. Ano man ang atong ginaagyan, kung parar sa imaya ng manukabot, this suffering is nothing. So do not exaggerate. Hindi pagpagod ata sobra what it is really worth. Because the Bible says in Revelation, Chapter 22, kagdiri na lang ko ma, ma takot, hambalan ko na lang daan ng kugalingon ko na matakot gitko, kaya otherwise masigla ni katapusan. Here is what the Bible says, Revelation chapter, I think it's 21 instead of 
that we read. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be that God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Kakambal sa ginoong, Behold, I am making all things new. Our tears are only for this life, but our joy and happiness and glory with God will last forever. Therefore, I consider my sufferings as not worthy to be compared to the glory which will be revealed. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, <coughs> Kapay pa na ang tulong mo na ginamalan dugan na amon may impact gid sa amon sa tikusuhon. Ikaw gid tinuo ang mag-comfort sa amon sa tigon sa amon pag-antos. But at the same time, O Lord, help us to remember that our tears are only for this life, but your joy is for eternity. And because of that, allow us, O Lord, to be strengthened by your word. Strengthen us, give us the patience, the perseverance, and the endurance to bear our sufferings with faith and courage. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed to us. All this we ask and pray in the precious name of the Lord Jesus and the people of God say, Amen. Amen.